good morning students so today we are going to see the introduction of drug store and business management that is dsbm why this topic is placed in your syllabus as well as we are also going to see the introduction of drug store and business management so uh, as you are aware our subject is drug store and business management it's a very easy subject compared to all the other subjects in the pharmacy so no need to worry but this subject is included in our syllabus so that you can aware about what is your business so most of the students they are going to open their own pharmacy right so don't call it as shop because most of the students say that i am going to pharmacy shop or like that so it is not the shop it is the pharmacy right so today we are going to see the introduction of this subject right so as far as the part of dsbm is concerned dsbm subject is uh, divided into two parts that is part 1 and part 2 so in part 1 we are going to study the commerce so commerce included the manufacturing of the goods and providing the services to the customers right so after completion of your b pharm you will be a professional pharmacist as a profession you are going to become a pharmacist right so every people so every individual is going to work uh, like various profession like doctors engineers uh, advocates like that so you are going to work as a pharmacist after completion of the two years d pharm course right so in this subject you are going to see the introduction of this subject only that mainly include the uh, commerce part then forms of business organization after completion of your b pharm you are going to open your business right you can open your pharmacy you can open your uh, small scale packing unit also right so uh, what are the various forms of business organization so what are the opportunities you are uh, you will have after completion of your d pharm that will be included in, in the forms of business organization after that uh, third topic is channels of distribution channels of distribution means uh, the goods uh, coming to you is not directly coming to you right it has to follow certain channels so there are two channels of distribution we are going to see in this chapter channels of distribution one is direct channel of distribution and second one is indirect channel of distribution so in direct channel of distribution the products are coming directly to you right so uh, products are manufactured in the manufacturing unit it will goes to depot and after that it will goes to the wholesaler and from wholesaler it may directly come to you that is direct channel of distribution and another is indirect channel of distribution in indirect channel of distribution in the channels of distribution the products will uh, from manufacturing unit the product will ship to the stockist after that it will ship to the wholesaler and from wholesaler to retailer and from retailer to customer so there is very long chain for distribution of this product that's why it is called as indirect channel of distribution right so uh, for example i am giving one uh, very good example so that you will and uh, you will understand what is channels of uh, direct and indirect channel of distribution so if you want to purchase a uh, mobile you will go directly to the local shop that is direct channel of indirect channel of distribution while whenever you are going to purchase anything from anything from online shopping that is called as indirect channel of distribution that's why most of the things they are somewhat cheaper compared to the local market so after that you are going to study the drug house management so drug house management is the chapter where you are going to learn how to manage your pharmacy so in this uh, chapter uh, details are give, given about how you are going to get the license from the drug authority to run your pharmacy right so what are the various qualification needed they are also mentioned qualification documents then furniture and various needs of equipment they are mentioned 
in the drug house management so you will get familiar with everything to open your own pharmacy right <clears throat> so after that there is a chapter of inventory control so after opening your own pharmacy you are you have to control the inventory also so how to control your inventory it is the very important part in running your pharmacy right so whenever you whenever you buy the various <coughs> stocks from the stockist there may be chances that this stock may be get dumped and your most of the investment will go to the uh, stock dumping so if you go for better inventory control then only you can able to save your money at maximum level otherwise you are going to invest lots of money on the dead stocks so in this chapter uh, we are going to see uh, how to maintain the inventory after that <coughs> there is self promotion so uh, this syllabus never ends at this position up to the inventory control they also provide you knowledge about the sales promotion how you are going to promote your product right so there are various means of promoting the sales sales promotion means uh, uh, promoting this products to the customers that is uh, affects on your direct selling of the products that will reduce your stock from your retail shop after that there is recruitment seventh step is recruitment compensation and training to the pharmacist so these are the three different parts so most of the students if they want to go for uh, getting the job at different levels so this chapter is going to help them like anything so recruitment is the uh, nothing but uh, to get the recruit at certain position so uh, uh, every now and then you are going to see the various ads in the papers that is wanted are recruitment so in that ad uh, you can apply how you have to apply how you have to uh, produce your cv everything uh, is mentioned on that recruitment chapter so after recruitment uh, this chapter is also included about the training so training plays very important role in uh, developing our personality uh, after recruitment they are also providing the training so there are various types of training we are going to discuss in this chapter offline training as well as online trainings are there after that uh, next chapter is banking and finance so uh, whenever you want to start your own pharmacy there is there may be chances that you want the finance so finance it is obtained from your uh, relatives your father or uh, if they don't have they, they don't finance you you can directly visit the bank right bank will also provide you the finance for doing each and every activity related related to the uh, finance right so uh, this is the first part where we are going to learn all these things in part 1 so for your uh, convenience they are distributed in two parts first part is commerce now we will discuss about the second part so second part is our accountancy right so uh, you know that uh, for expanding expanding any money or expenditure of our money we have to maintain one account so most of the people so most of the students they are living outside their home or they are living at a local level of akola city so they have to get the room rented so uh, room rented as well as they have to also expense uh, for less Right. So for that they have to expand their or expenditure of money is there. Right. So most of the students they have a habit of writing the things uh, in it, uh, in their diary. Right. So uh, if you are maintaining your diary, that is your uh, account, then it is uh, very easy to find out our expenses throughout the month. Like that. so this chapter also including accountancy of your whole pharmacy throughout the year throughout the month throughout the day throughout the hour each and every thing you have to maintain in your account so this chapter will also say you about how you have to maintain your 
accounts. So in that there is even introduction, introduction uh, chapter covers about what is accountancy, how is the account is maintained. So what are the various parameters you are going to follow that you are, we are, we are going to cover in this introduction chapter. After that there is accounting concept. Accounting concept is nothing but why account uh, should be there and how you have to maintain the account. So in the accounting concept the basic thing is that uh, each and everything is recorded in our account if it is relates to the money then only you can able to record it right after that there is recording of transaction so this chapter is going to teach you how to record each and every transaction in your account for example if you have paid 50 rupees as a rickshaw charge or auto charge for the transaction of your stock from wholesaler to retailer right or to you so for that you have to give 100 rupees to the uh, that transporter right so that uh, that recording you have to maintain in your account that 50 rupees is given or 50 rupees is expended on transportation of food right like that this is going to happen for lots of time during the month. So that entry comes to the tri uh, transport. So if you pay the electricity bill for your pharmacy, that account will be electricity bill account and you have to maintain each and everything in that account. After that, there is trans balance. So uh, I will give you the example of cricket. When you play the cricket, will you just find out everything is good or not by by a trial ball right so if everything is good then you can continue like that in the trial balance we have to find out is any is any difficulty in getting the final balance or is any entry is missing in the trial balance that will show and accordingly you can prepare the trial balance after that there is a financial statement so this is the very important thing this financial statement plays a very important role in our pharmacy business right after at the end of the year you will get one statement that statement is called as financial statement from this statement only you can able to see either your business is in profit or loss so on that basis bank will also use you or bank will provide you finance if your financial statement is good most of the people will also invest in your business if your financial statement is good right so this statement is seen by each and everything if somebody wants to invest in your pharmacy shop or pharmacy business then he will see your financial statement if bank want to give you the loan then if your financial statement is good then and then only bank will provide you the financial finance after that there is budgeting so budgeting is nothing but uh, we are planning for the future so whatever we have we had the expenses in the last financial year accordingly we will prepare the budget that budget may be 10% rise of that of the last financial year so uh, this year uh, what we do in the budgeting we will find out the forthcoming expenses and accordingly we will uh, prepare our budget that is called as budgeting so uh, students this is all about the introduction of DSBM why DSBM should be included in our syllabus and what is the importance of DSBM in your syllabus as well as I have taken uh, introduction of both the part including accountancy as well as commerce. So uh, in the very next lecture we are going to see entire chapter one by one in detail. So please go through this entire video so that you will understand the importance of DSBM Trust Store and Business Management in your syllabus. and. Uh, no doubt this subject is going to help you like anything if you want to open your own pharmacy. No need to go anywhere, you will find each and everything here only how to apply for the license at drug, uh, drug department, food and drug administration department.
and what are the various documents that are required each and every things you are going to learn in this subject only